Good morning, everybody. This is Patrick Montesdioca here, CEO with the Equity Management Academy. What I would like to do on this segment here is to take a look at the previous week's action in the mini S&P as it relates to the VCPMI, Artificial Intelligence Automated Algorithm. On this chart here, we're taking a look at the daily chart of the mini S&P. And what you see here is basically these lines uh, representing um, a couple of different indicators here. We have uh, the uh, Fibonacci retracement, we have Fibonacci trend lines, and we have the VCPMI AI automated algorithm. The artificial intelligence is telling us that the uh, market is in an area of uh, what appears to be an overbought condition. Um, if we uh, bring the uh, chart to the 15-minute uh, bar, we can see more clearly the uh, average price for Monday is uh, 29.06 now. And with the market closing above the average price of 29.06, the, it indicates that the trend momentum is bullish. When the price closes above the average price daily, weekly, or monthly, it is a bullish indicator. The trend momentum turns bullish. And automatically, <coughs> excuse me, it activates the extreme above the mean levels of the cell 1 of 29.21. So, two things are going to happen as we come into Monday. The trend momentum is telling us that the market is coming in with a bullish sentiment. The target is 29.21 your protective level is 2906 your average price the weekly average price is your protective level if you are maintaining a long-term position or a swing position and as you can see here coming back to the ninth of April a couple of days ago <coughs> excuse me the price came right into the area of demand that you see here in blue the artificial intelligence identifies the area in blue to be a very strong area of demand And when the price closes above these levels, any one of these levels, it activates a buy trigger point. Automatically, when it activates a buy trigger point right here on the 9th at 7.45 p.m., it activates the stop, which is the level below, and your target is automatically in place, which is the level above. And in this case, it was an entry from B2 with a target of B1, an entry of 2882 with a target of 2897. That's a 17-point move. Literally uh, within 24 hours. I teach you, based on the VCPMI artificial intelligence, that what it tells us is that when the price is at the highest probable level of demand, accumulation of demand, that you do not sell between the buy one and buy two. The reason for it is because when we look at the extreme relative implied volatility that the VCPMI algorithm identifies for us by specifically giving us a price level using GAN formulas, 
the buy one level is a 90% probability that the price will revert back to the mean, as you can see here. When it is at the B2 level, it is a 95% probability that the price will revert back to the mean, as you can see here. And when the price trades above the average or the mean or the pivot point or the equilibrium level, the VCPMI artificial intelligence identifies for you as a self-directed trader a structure that you can trade from the extreme levels above the mean of cell 1 and cell 2 or you can buy from the extreme levels below the mean from buy one and buy two. Either one of these levels of buy one or sell one have a mathematical probability of 90% probabilities that the reversion could unfold from this level and if not highly probable that the sell to level which has a 95 percent probability will unfold the reversion back to the mean okay so we've been looking at the uh, if we take a look at the daily price here for a minute at the market basically making you know higher highs and and higher lows higher highs and higher lows and the high that was made on September uh, last year, 29.47, is the last challenge uh, as a target that the VCPMI has to complete this overextended rally that we've seen almost nonstop since December. And so when we take a look at where the price is daily, it is beginning to indicate to us, as it has for the past couple of weeks, that the market is extremely overbought. The market is overextended. It's above the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement. Um, and we have to take a look at the other side of the market here, for example, that for some reason, if the market was to blow off and, and, uh, and uh, close above, um, the 100% um, of the initial price here, which was when the analysis began on the high of 29.47, if we were to close above 29.47, it activates the targets of 33.32.58, which is a 1.61 a 161.8% Fibonacci inverse retracement from the breakout of 29.47. So it's going to be an interesting uh, market here as we come into next week and see what the price does within the supply levels in red that you see here, which the VCPMI artificial intelligence identifies this area to be distribution of supply. It has identified for us the distribution of supply. So now we want to adjust the high that we saw last week to give us a better picture in terms of the um, Fibonacci levels that we're looking at of support. But you can clearly see here the area of, of supply is very, very much, you know, overpowering, you might say, uh, in, 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 in sort of joining the 100% uh, target of 2947. So we want to see what the market does here in next week, but uh, 
the artificial intelligence does not recommend for you to buy into this uh, rally as much as it's difficult to see the price go up and not be part of it but uh, more than likely when the uh, price reaches these levels and ideally matches the weekly and the monthly levels we have what we call a, a harmonic uh, relationship um, that uh, identifies for us the alignment you might say that takes place between all the uh, all the three trends this is the analysis for the uh, e mini s p 500 and i want to take a look at the uh, at the price of gold as we're coming into next week and see where we are in relation to the uh, the daily algorithms that we have let's see here if I can the uh, price of gold of the June contract closed at uh, 1293.50 on Friday and uh, we're getting some indication here that the price as we come into next week is in an area of demand the buy one level is 1293 and the buy two level is 1290 and the uh, VCPMI artificial intelligence is recommending that if you don't have a position that you want to look for a signal to be activated once the price touches 1293 gives you a setup the close above that using the next 15 minute bar after the first setup activates a buy signal if it closes below the buy one do not take the short signal wait for the price to come down and test at 1290 upon testing that 1290 reverting back up to close above 1290 is the buy trigger point as we come into this Monday the gold market is very well supported as you can see here not only by the VCPMI area of demand being built underneath the market here with last week's low of uh, 1284.90 activating a reversion a reversal back up market came right up to the resistance of the Fibonacci trend line came back down again under the trend line resistance from the previous high that was made right into the pocket of demand that is identified by the VCPMI artificial intelligence so I believe the gold market is beginning to uh, uh, form what I believe is a bullish pattern and as you can see here we have a little bit of a what uh, can be classified as a down flag formation and all we need is another close above 1300 13 uh, uh, at this point it would be about 1306 that it would uh, begin to uh, break out you might say or confirm the breakout particularly if we were to close above 1313 or the previous high that we made last week we have uh, a rally all the way up to about uh, 1325 coming up and potentially it could be 1368 which is what we could be testing here the 1325 1326 is a 78.6% retracement from the old time high that we saw and uh, we seem to be once again forming what appears to be a wedge a descending wedge a bear flag of some kind and a breakout above that would confirm the breakout to the upside 